And here he is, one of the greats of all time, a pro football Hall of Famer, one of the greats of all time at Illinois football as well, one of the greats of the Chicago Bears organization. Joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show on the Mercedes-Benz Vans phone line, courtesy of Huddle Up, the Let's Talk Obesity campaign as part of getting players who used to play in the NFL as well as possible, the great Dick Butkus. How are you, Dick? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing better for talking to you. Uh, there you go. Let's let's hop right into this thing. Did you see the game last night? Yes, I did see the game last night. And, uh, uh, well, I was a little bit more agitated uh, than usual watching the Bears of late. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just don't understand what's going on there. You know what? They ought to sue that offensive line for attempted murder. They're going to get that quarterback of ours killed. Um I think he's he, he's our guy, Justin, and I think the, they got to do a, a better job of getting him some surrounding help because, uh, like I say, they're going to kill that kid. So when you watch them and you watch last night, you yeah. the, the throws that Fields made towards the end of the game that 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 was a that's that's it, right? I mean, you you know for sure he's your guy, or yeah. or you th- you figured that was the case before this. No, oh, you know, I, I just saw his maturity over the just the, the past three or four games. Than watching him, he he can make the throws. Uh, um, I'm certain about that. It's just uh, they ought to have. Uh, well, I would say that a little bit better play calling and uh, um, and just help the kid out as best you can with with, with play selections and so forth. Uh, it's just he's doing he's doing a great job uh, with with not much help up front. So what what play calls you want to see if you want to get in the exercise well, a little bit? I'm doing some rollout and stuff, doing some uh, Patrick Mahone business. After all, Nagy came from from Mandy Reid's school. Uh, why is it a a dive up the middle for two yards with Montgomery, then another uh, dive for two more yards? Now you lead the kid third and six or third and seven plus. Everybody knows in the stadium that you're going to throw it. Okay, so devise some way, a unique way of getting him in, in movement, rolling out or what have you, uh, for the best chance of com- uh, completing a pass. Because drop, drop back pass, and that, I just, you know, I hold my breath. Well, all right, let me go to the third rail subject. Do you think Nagy's the guy? Dick Buckus, what do you think? Uh, I, I, I expected more, let me say this. I, I, I expected more. Um, you know, people ask me, oh, you think they're going to fire him? And the McCaskies will not fire anybody during the year. Uh, if anything happens, him at, or Pace, I mean, in Chicago, they're all, they're, they're, it's, you know, they want to lynch him. But um, <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm just disappointed in, 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 in everything the Bears are doing. I mean, I, I just, I get so frustrated watching him. Uh, I don't know. That's just they got to start from ground zero, but they already have ground zero with fields. Now let's get somebody around him and, and in front of him to save his life. Dick Butkus here, Pro Football Hall of Famer here on the Rich Eisen Show. What would you think of what I mean, the, the the emphasis on taunting? Oh, uh, Jesus, don't bring that up. <laughs> God. <laughs> I mean, I, ha- I mean, it, it, it damn, you know, it, 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 it was. You know, you know that that that's the difference of today's game versus you know, it, eras before. Mm-hmm. You know that, that that's that's bait. I mean, that, it, it, if watching game films and you watch a guy intercept the ball on his own ten yard line, let's say, yeah. and he runs ninety yards, and there's. Not only the rest of the defensive team running to the end zone, you got guys coming off the sidelines now. Right. And then they're doing their gyrations and everything else. And I know, I guess, the director up there is directing the camera on them. Let's show, you know, uh, 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 I have fun. Does anybody go in the end zone and, and do cartwheels when they miss a tackle or drop a pass? I, please. Please don't. I, but that call on 59 yesterday, uh, last night, uh, that was ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, he was just staring at the bench, you yeah. know, at, from 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 outside, from like the middle of the field. He wasn't. I think he was. I don't think he was inside the hash, Dick. You know, I mean, that he was. He wasn't. And then when he came off, he bumps into the referee. I thought. Well, maybe the guy, the referee, called it on him for bumping him, you know? But he said he didn't, by the way. Tony Carrenti said he, that he was already pulling the flag as it looked like the 
Like it looked like, and I'm going to talk about this with the head of the, one of the former head of NFL refs, Dean Blandino, later on, Dick, on this show. It did look like Tony kind of like moved his hip into the guy as he was passing by. It yeah. was weird. The whole right, thing just... it really did. And, and the guy just came up for the practice squad. So he's, I know. He's making these, and then then when he runs off to the sidelines, they're chewing his ass out. <laughs> then finally, the coach came and it looked like he apologized to him, but. I would be hot too if that you know at that stage of the game, and then being off sides, lining up off sides. Now, what? I you get me frustrated here <laughs> about this. This is it's ridiculous. I'm sorry, Dick, but I, oh, yeah, re- isn't I'm, it? That's what happened. Last three night. times you, you, you can't line up right, and it costs us a game. Dick Let Buck. me settle down here a second. Okay, let here we go. Here, uh, let me reset. I'll do the I'll do the professional thing to gather you gather yourself. Dick Butkus, Pro Football Hall of Famer, here on the on the Rich Eisen show. Because this is about wellness, Dick. This is about wellness. We need you well. You know what yeah. I mean? We need you well. How are you feeling? How's everything with you? I'm feeling terrific. Fantastic. You know, we uh, uh, the NFL alumni are uh, have this uh, campaign with obesity, and and uh, they had asked me to join forces because of my foundation. We we do. Uh, thing called takes heart where we give ebt uh, scans of people's heart uh down there in orange county and so there's a definite uh relationship between obesity now and deaths and heart disease and of course diabetes thrown in Mm -hmm. and you know people are you know it's over 40 percent i think uh, nfl retired players are obese uh and everybody thinks well it's just diet and, and exercise or whatever, but there's a lot of other factors that you got to take into account as genetics and harmonic changes and, uh, you know, lack of sleep, stress. So what this is doing is trying to address uh, all these issues and guys can go on uh, on the line with uh, NFL uh, alumni or uh, obesity.org, I believe it is, mm-hmm. and, and you can sit there and you can talk it out, you know. I, I, yeah, you know, another reason is because 20 years ago, uh, I, I did a scan uh, for a favor for somebody over there at St. Joseph's Hospital in, in uh, Orange County. Mm-hmm. And I come out, and 24 hours later, I had a five way bypass. And I, when I came out of it in the recovery room, uh, the doctor came up to me, and he, uh, he was a Chicago guy. And he said, I said, come on, Doc, what, what, what the hell is going on here? I, I felt fine. I might have been overweight a little bit, but I, I generally I felt fine. Mm-hmm. And he says, well, Dick, the best way I could explain it to you is that you had one foot in a grave and one on a banana peel. Because wow. in 30 days, it would have been over for you. Wow. And I'm like, whoa. And so I'm thinking now with this obesity uh you know, cancer and heart disease were elevated because of all the smoking. Smoking has decreased, heart disease has decreased. Now it's skyrocketing again, and it's because of obesity. And, you know, I think it's a selfish thing that you're doing because I just think back, if I would have taken care of myself or, or, or didn't go do the scan, I would never have seen my fine grandchildren. So it's it's not an issue where it's all about me. It's, you know, don't be selfish. Get yourself healthy so you can live to see your grandkids. And it's it's not that difficult to do, although, you know, a lot of guys think it is. There's a lot of problems. But, again, it's it's not just diet and exercise. You know, you got to, you know, really work at it and, you know, just – I just got into it uh, recently, and you know I've lost forty pounds, and I feel wow, good. that's amazing. Huddleupobesity.org. org, right? For you, and by the way, you were talking so passionately about fighting obesity. You, I think you've been flagged for taunting, Dick. I think you've well, been why? you're taunting obesity. You're taunting obesity. That's what's well, happening right well, now? It, well, isn't it like everybody? It's all about me. Don't you think that's what's going on with the taunting and everything? Yeah. Look at me. But when they blow a tackle or fumble or throw an interception, it's uh, they're not doing cartwheels as they walk off. Come on. Oh, man. He's cramming. He's... <laughs> Dick Buck is here on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, what was it like uh, suiting up against the Lombardi offense and uh, back in the day? 
Give, give, me, give me a good one on that one. Liz Lombardi on the sideline. You're a bear. They're the Packers. Let's go. Like, what was that like, Dick? It was it oh. was a great time because that, those were probably the best games as the team we played because, mm-hmm. you know, you knew they were good and you really wanted to show up. But uh, I, uh, I just, you know, there was no trickery involved. They just were so well uh, honed at execution that, you know, the sweep and all that stuff. Everybody knew it was coming. It was just their guys did a great job of preventing you from making tackles. And I really enjoyed uh, playing there because, uh, to me, at that time, as a rookie, even going to uh, Green Bay, it's, you know, title town, this is it, man. You know, because I used to watch Ray Nitschke because uh, I met him as a sophomore when I was at Illinois or when I was in high school going to go to Illinois. And so I always followed him and, I still remember when he was on What's My Line after they beat the, the, the Giants or somebody, and he came on with his glasses and bald head, and they were asking him what he was doing. Oh, so. man. He, what's, he was in the uh, – oh, oh, was he in the Miller Lite commercials too with you back uh, in the day? Let's see. Was he? Uh, I don't know if he, he was. Okay, because well, the guy who always used to come through the Miller Lite commercials at the end was Madden bursting through, yeah. right? And then right. we've got a photograph of those old days of the Miller Lite commercials. I, I mean, the, the, the people on the screen, I mean, there's Madden, Rodney Dangerfield, Boog Powell. You're leaning on Boog holding a Miller Lite with Bubba yeah. right next to you. And you're leaning on Billy Martin who's sitting next to Mickey Spillane. Give me a story. Roll, oh. roll, roll one out for me here. Dick, what was it like? So we're so every Christmas we would do, you know, everybody would do their little individual uh, commercials during the year. But at around Christmas, for Christmas, yeah. we would do a uh, uh, commercial with everybody, sixty second one. Mm-hmm. So we were all in this boardroom sitting, and so each guy had their lines and everything else. And so we would, Deacon Jones would always jag Rodney Dangerfield because he, you know, we were all the peons and we had to be there and sit there for the whole duration of setup and everything. Rodney would walk in when he was to say his line. So, uh, uh, I think it was boom, boom, Jeffrey on, uh, he says, you know, Rodney's like saying something, you know, to the director, and so boom, boom, Jeffrey Ann says, "Come on, Rodney, stay your lines." And then, without hesitation, Rodney says, "Hey, boom, boom, how's your sister, Bang Bang?" <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I'm sitting there like, this guy must have lines ready to go for everybody because we gave him such a hard time because and. We had, so, so there was a makeup guy putting powder on on Deacon, and it, it, it looked like he, like after my, he slapped the powder puff on, on Deacon's face, and it's just like white all over. Deacon grabs him and starts heading, grabbing him and moving over to the window. And they open the window, and we're in a high rise. <laughs> I mean, oh my God! There are funnier things than the commercials, actually, uh-huh. and I think it's probably one of the biggest mistakes Miller Lite has made by getting rid. They would, can you imagine? They would have had material oh, forever, forever. Of course, exactly. That's the stuff from behind. The, I mean, my favorite one is being a New Yorker was George Steinbrenner and Billy. You know, after he rehired Billy for like the umpteenth time, and they argued about taste great, less filling, and he fired him again. I mean, that's just <laughs> that's one of the best commercials of all time. Yeah. Unbelievable! Oh man, it was, it that, was. And then, of course, I, I, I just, you know, by, by the way, Dick, you got to come into the studio because I have so many questions for you about your TV career. You were, you were in every television show in the 1970s. Yeah. I, I mean, yep. Are you, uh, are you aware? I mean, like, what, what do you get? What do you get checks for residual? Do you get like residual checks for, for uh, rich man, poor man, still? Oh, yeah. Or you do? You get a Rockford Files residual check? Still? Yeah, you know, with the ones that you do early, yeah. uh, I mean, uh, it it they it, it changes. Like, I don't know if you get 100% uh, residual, then uh-huh. it goes to 90, 80, you know, every time right. it reruns. So I get some for nine cents, <laughs> three cents in Europe. <laughs> so uh, believe me, I'm not, uh, I mean, I wish I would have been on a series like uh, anybody that's been in it for 
Oh, for a number of years, they, they're, they're really raking it in. Oh, yeah, 27 episodes of My Two Dads, Dick. I wrote yeah. that one down on my uh, $6 million man, yep. Matlock. Yep. You were, uh, you're were the famed Tank Mason on Murder, She Wrote, in yep. that one episode? I almost had a series uh, spinoff from MacGyver. Come on. I, I, yeah, I had, uh, they had me up there twice. Huh. Uh, yeah. yeah, there you are. You're, you're, you. We got a picture of you with uh, Richard Dean Anderson. You're holding some sort of plastic bag. Yeah, you know, you're making stuff with MacGyver. That's what they did. Yeah, back in the day. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So fool them all, Rich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big time, man. Big yeah. time. Yeah. All right, Dick. So uh, again, everyone, go to huddleupobesity.org to learn more about getting well and check things out for you. The Butkus Foundation. You've got that I Play Clean program encouraging yep. teens to stay away from from uh, PEDs. Yep. And then the Buckus Award. When do we find out who's the winner this year? Uh, we'll find out uh, around uh, December, uh, the week, first week of December, December 7th to the 10th or so. Right. Uh, yeah, you know, what, what we do differently is that we don't have a rubber chicken banquet and tuxedos and have guys come fly out uh, during finals. Uh, we go to their... <laughs> particular school okay so that their coaches family and friends can enjoy it uh the success that the kid has so okay yeah and then we're going to have uh, our first award show uh in february there at aqua caliente in uh, palm springs so okay we'll bring in all the winners there i hope well when you're on the way there from the beach stop by here and you can come in and you know really speak your mind on things dick when you come well, in here, I, okay you know I, yeah. I, that's what people tell me i should say what i think but i just <laughs> you know I just I don't want to get myself in trouble. So. <laughs> okay. okay, you've succeeded not to do that here, Dick. Don't okay. worry. Don't embarrass, yeah. and that's <laughs> <laughs> take care of yourself, Dick Butkus. You're the yeah. best. That's Dick Butkus right here on the Rich Eisen Show, everybody. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.